All right, folks, so this is another one, and it is back kind of to an older format, but I, I just don't understand how anyone can look at a situation where someone who has as many deaths on their hands, as much blood on their hands as, as Soleimani did, can actively apologize for reacting to a terrorist, a terrorist attack. Uh, more is yet again proving he does not care for anything but power, fame, and money. Okay, his idiotic movies made millions because liberals flocked to see them and they flocked to hear him talk because he parrots exactly what they believe. America is evil when it's not run by a Democrat. America should be only run by Democrats. America should be taxed into poverty. America should be a socialist state where idiots like Moore will live like royalty and we will live a life worse than under the USSR in the heyday of socialism in that country. It's beyond me. But thankfully, we have a lot of people who are starting to realize what's going on. They're starting to realize that Moore does not represent anyone but himself and the Democratic National Committee. And, I mean, honestly, this is something that is good because the more people who realize more sounds like this. That dirty perky shark, a back flat and fought and fill a bucket, Martin, perky Luma, Burton, Dirty Bush, Madden, Martin, and Adam Bull. The more people who will leave the Democrats, the more people who will realize that no one in the DNC, no one in the Hollywood elite cares one whit about anything but money and power. The Ayatollah of Iran is a terror sponsor, a terror sympathizer. The sanctions and the requirements for Iran to allow inspections of nuclear facilities have never worked. Obama sent billions to Iran. And it, it honestly, it amazes me that anyone still thinks this should be done. But when you look at someone who like Moore, who is an uneducated idiot, okay? He went to film school. This is not someone who should be weighing in on foreign policy or on government policy in any way, okay? My doctor does not tell me how to set up my living will or how to pay my taxes or how to invest. My doctor tells me how to be healthy, okay? An investment specialist would never tell you how to fix your car or how to build a home or how to care for an, ail, uh, an ailing relative. They would tell you how to invest your money to make more money. Moore is a filmmaker. Okay, he should stick to making his stupid little movies that liberals will flock to see so that he can continue to get rich and tell everyone how evil the rich are. I remember that I've tweeted at him when he says the rich need to pay more. I tweeted and said, you're free to send any amount of money above and beyond your tax burden to the Fed, federal government at any time. You're free to say, I'm not paying enough taxes. Take more. Here's, here it is. And give it to them. But he doesn't do that. It's the same reason that the Democrats in Congress will never close the loopholes that allow the very, very rich to pay as little in tax as possible. They use them, too. How does someone like Joe Biden or Bernie Sanders, who have never worked an honest job in their life, they have been in politics for virtually their entire adult life. Prior to it, they were in some ultra-liberal college, and then they worked for their family, or they lived off a of family trust. How does someone like that become a multimillionaire on a government salary? And the only answer is corruption. Lobbyists will, they'll say, oh, you needed a new car? Well, here, let us buy it for you. Oh, your house needs this done. Well, I, I know someone who'll come do it for free. Let's take you to a show. Let's take you out to a ball game. Let me take you out to dinner. And slush funds are formed, and people who are corrupt 
let it happen. <clears throat> I remember taking AOC to task on her idiocy of the money that it was not spent bringing Amazon to New York could be spent elsewhere. Uh, there was no money spent. It was a tax abatement, which was not permanent. Meaning that if the tax burden for Amazon under that abatement was $1 billion, they would get a certain portion cut from that. They would still be paying taxes. They would still be building in New York. They would still be employing people in New York. They would still be benefiting New York. They just wouldn't be paying as much for a certain amount of time to offset the cost of relocating a business to that city. It's very common practice, okay? I can remember in the 90s when the Texas Rangers wanted a new stadium, okay? Ranger Stadium was old and small compared to other stadiums for Major League Baseball teams. So they wanted a new stadium. Now, in that case, they didn't pay a thing, okay? They went to the city, and the city went to the residents of, the, of Arlington, and they said, we want to have a bond election to see if the city can build this new stadium to keep the Rangers there. That was one where money was actually spent, but it still benefited the city of Arlington because all the jobs to build that stadium all the jobs to staff it, you know, all the waitresses and all the the popcorn and hot dog and Dr. Pepper salespeople and maintenance people and housekeeping, all, all of those things, that benefited the city of Arlington. Okay, the money that that stadium generates is taxed, so Arlington benefits. And they were able later to build on, to build new high schools or new middle schools or fixed roads because they kept a very good cash cow in the city. Moore is just like AOC. He's just not on that. I got off on a tangent. Sorry about that. But Moore is the kind of person who sees Obama for eight years ordering drone strike after drone strike. Obama drone, ordered a drone strike on a wedding that killed children. Moore said nothing. In a very surgical strike, Donald Trump orders the death of a terrorist who has killed over 600 Americans. And he apologizes for that. I, I just don't understand it. But I think I'm glad I don't. Because if I could understand the mind of Michael Moore, I really should be in a padded room. But I've talked long enough. Let me know what you think. Remember, keep it civil. We are adults. Keep it a debate not an argument or a ranting or a rant or shouting match. As always, if you like the video, please click like, and also please remember to subscribe so that you can stay up to date and be notified or just know when I post so that you can keep up to date with the new videos. Until next time, have a great day.